Creating simple forms. A form is an access database object that's used to create an interface for a database application. We know how difficult that sounds, but it's really not. A bound form is directly connected to your data, such as a table or a query. It's used to enter, edit, or display the information from the data. You can also create an unbound form that doesn't link to a data source, such as a table or a query, but still contains buttons, labels, or other controls that you need to operate the application. An automatic sub-data sheet sounds complicated, but it's really not. If Access finds a table that has a one-to-many relationship with the table or even the query that you use to create the form, then it will add a sub-data sheet based on the table or query. A one-to-many relationship occurs when each record in one table may have many linked records in another table, but each record in the second table may only have one corresponding record in the first table. We have one of these already, our orders and books table. Here's an example. If you create a form based on our books table, as we did earlier, and a one-to-many relationship exists between the books table and the orders table, the sub-data sheet will display all the records that exist in the orders table that relate to the current orders record you're using to create the form. You can go to layout view if you want and delete the sub-data sheet. However, if there's more than one table that has a one-to-many relationship, Access will not add anything to the form. An easy way to understand this is if you did a report for a single customer using the customer table. Let's say the customer had placed more than one order that appeared in the orders table. All the orders for the customer, which are linked records linked by primary keys and foreign keys, will be displayed in a sub-data sheet. A single item form displays information about one record. Once you create the form, you can modify it in layout or design view. Let's learn how to create it so you can see exactly what a form does and how easy it is to create one. Go to the navigation pane in Access. You should already have the database open. Click the table or query you want to use to create the form. For this example, let's click the books table. Now go to the create tab. Go to the forms group and click on form. Access will create the form for you. If you go to the layout view, you can edit the design while the form is still showing data, as you can see here. You can do things like adjust the size of the text boxes. You can also see down below we have what's called the sub-data sheet, as we mentioned earlier. You can see down below there's some information on the orders. This is called a sub-data sheet, which we'll get to later. Now, to use the form, go to the form view. To do this, go to the home tab, and in the views group, click on form view. If you want, you can now change the data in your table by editing the form. Let's change the price to $25 for the first book, here, lying with strangers, in this form. Click on the field labelled price, and type in the new value of 25. Press tab or click somewhere else when you've finished. The format will automatically get updated. Once you do that, you'll see a little pencil on the left hand side, as you can see here. To change the price in your data, click on that little pencil. It now turns into an arrow, meaning the data has been saved. The price has now been changed in the table. Double click the books table to open the table and have a look. You can see here that the price has been changed. So far, we've seen forms that only show a single record at a time. However, if your table has more than one record, you are able to see them in the form. At the bottom of the form, there is a toolbar that displays the record information. This section shows the number of the current record, which is number 1, and the total of records, which is 6. Buttons for moving to the next and the previous record. Buttons for moving to the last and the first record. A button for creating a new record. And filtering and search functions. To navigate between records, you have a few choices. Click on the next record button, which is shown at the bottom of the screen. The next record will then be displayed, and the toolbar at the bottom will show the next record number. In this case, 2 of 6. To search for a record, type a value to search in the search box. In this example, we're going to search for Belmont, which is part of a book title that we have. Type the word Belmont into the search box at the bottom. It doesn't matter if it's upper or lower case. As you type, you'll notice that the next available record starts to appear and the word is highlighted. The record for the book A Death in Belmont is now displayed. A multiple item form is also known as a continuous form. 
It displays the information for more than one record at a time. The data is arranged just as it is in a data sheet with rows and columns with multiple records being displayed. But because it's a form and not actually a data sheet, you can customize it more and add features like graphics and buttons. To create a multiple item form, go to the navigation pane and select a table or query. In this case, we're selecting books. Go to the create tab and then go to the forms group. Click on the drop down that says more forms and select multiple items. You'll then see the form here. This is in layout view. To close a form, click on the X in the top right of the form window. If access asks you to save the file, choose either yes or no, depending on if you want to save the file. In this case, I won't save the file. With a split form, you see two views of your data, the form view and the data sheet view. The views are connected to the same data source and are synchronized. If you select a field in one part of the form, the matching field in the other part of the form is selected too. Data can be added, deleted or edited in either part as long as the record is updatable. To create a new split form, go to the navigation pane and select a table or query. We're using a table of course. Go to the create tab, select more forms again and click on split form. The split form is now created. You can make updates in either pane and they'll be updated in the other pane accordingly. To create a split form from an existing form, open the form you want to use in layout view. To do this, you can open the form or right click on the form in the navigation pane and select layout view. View the property sheet by clicking on the design tab and selecting property sheet. Choose form from the drop down list that's at the top of the property sheet. On the format tab of the property sheet, go to default view. Click on the drop down and select split form. This message will now appear. Click OK. And then make sure you've saved the form if you haven't already. Now you can close the form. Open the form again and you can see that it's been saved as a split view. To change it back, just do the same steps. Open it in layout view. Select the drop down to form and change the default view to single form. Now save and close the form. The navigation form is just as it sounds. It creates a navigation control. If you're going to publish your database to the web, you'll need this type of form because the navigation pane won't show. To create a navigation form, go to the create tab. Go to the forms group and click on navigation. Choose the type of form that you want. We're going to choose horizontal tabs. Drag the formal report that you want to add from the navigation pane to the tab that says add new. Here you'll see the navigation form that we've created. <laughs>